Welcome everyone. Welcome back to another. Welcome to Anita's Joint. Hashtag Extend Your Joint, where every day is payday, baby. And you tuned in to another esoteric football commentary. Shout out to Esoteric College Surfer. Um, we're gonna be watching uh, North Carolina Courage versus Racing FC, Racing Louisville FC. Very interesting. It's gonna be a very interesting match. Um, very interesting. Oh, 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 hold on. Window. Very interesting match. It's uh. Could be a very interesting match. We just watched uh we just watched we just watched uh Orlando versus Orlando versus Kansas City. That's right. We watched Orlando versus Kansas City. And I think I got the NWSO2, NWSO2 Twitch on. Just waiting. Weird. Ain't nobody. Uh, 53 people are waiting. Nobody. I'm going to say hello to the chat. All right. Hi, everyone. We'll see if we get some bites on that. But I hope everyone's doing well. Let me get back into the... Over here. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Today on this Mercury Day. Ding, ding. Oh. I'll, for some reason, I keep forgetting... Uh, hopefully, I, not, I mean, I was live and recording. I think everything was all as well. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome to Anita's Joint. Hashtag in the joint where every day is payday, baby. And you're tuned in to... Uh, shout out to Esoteric Cloud Store for you in the building. Hey. Oh, Esoteric Cloud I was going to ask you too. Like, like I now I now say uh, this is Esoteric Football Commentary because of you which, when you had said it. Because um, it's badass. Um... But uh, we are live. <laughs> Some people are saying good morning. Let me make sure I have this. And let me know. If, I mean, I'm going to. There we go. There we go. I got it. Make sure. Can move this a little over here so I can see. Make sure everything's going correctly. Um, but uh, let me know if the screen ever goes black. I mean, green. Uh, I think I'm, I have, I'm, I think I've gotten better. Just, I have to watch it in the discord. So nothing, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> For some reason, it'd be doing that. I don't know why it'd be doing that. Um, Exit. And then we'll just uh, window preview. Again. That should work. Let me know. Let, just let me know if it ever. Because I'm, I'm in here now. Again. Hopefully you can see the screen. Uh, But yeah, good now. All right, perfect. Nice. All right, cool. We all good. Uh, let me just. Oh, I see. All right. 
I don't know where they're at right now. Let me see. They're probably in, um... Might be in... Oh, Lynn Williams Stadium. I mean, Lynn Williams. Lynn... Um, Lynn Stadium. Standings again. Orlando getting a dub, y'all. Orlando undefeated. Man, Houston. Come on, Houston. Come on. We got to be top six. We play this. Houston plays this weekend against Orlando. So they got to get, you know, so somebody's got to be Orlando. I, I mean, I have no problem. I think Houston should be able to get it done. Uh, I know, right? That's crazy. Come on, Houston. They're killing me. But um, we, we, we got to see Ebony uh, uh, Salmon against Houston, the 19 year old lioness. We're happy to have her here. Uh, scored a goal against the only goal against Houston, but um, and Jim and Bonner, of course, shout out to City. But we see Miss Sam Ewis. She was able to get a goal and. Did Rain tie it? No, yeah, Rain. I mean, uh, North Carolina, I believe won. No, and and like we we just got released the roster of the uh, the roster got released for the Tokyo Olympics. No Lynn Williams on it. You know, I was shook it. I was surprised. Um, so I think she's gonna have a, a extra edge. For the rest of this season. You know. Because Vlatko brought in two injured players. You know. Rich is very surprising. Uh, 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 let me change that. Because uh, you know. them. Y'all know how them commercials be. <clears throat> but yeah. Lynn Williams was not on the stadium. In the stadium. In the stadium. Not in the 18. He brought in Julie Ertz. Brought in Tobin Heath. Uh, Lynn Williams. I'm not Lynn Williams. Um, Julie Ertz got hurt at the beginning of the season. She hasn't played since. And we haven't seen Tobin Heat since Man City. I mean, Man United. So, he chose two injured players over a healthy Lynn Williams. Um, I don't know where they do that at. But hopefully it doesn't hurt USA. Um, I still think it's a fairly good squad, the healthy players. Um, so... We're going to see. But they're going to have a tough fight. And then even because Rose Lavelle's kind of been picking up some, some knocks. So, shit. We're going to see who, who um, they put out today. And... Make sure. Just got to go back. We'll see who they put out today. Should be very interesting. Are we on commercial, so I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> and I'm reading the chat a little bit. I'll be right back. Oh, we're all good. Let me see. Nothing. Still commercial. Still. Still commercials. But we all good. Oh shit. All right, okay, we back. Uh, 
Okay, let's check out these lineups. Okay, we got um no CC Kaiser, no a new different this is just a different team. <laughs> different team for sure. Okay. Oh, that's right. I for I forgot. I was thinking because I was looking at the images when I was looking for images to put on my thumbnail for Chicago that McCaskill still plays for Chicago, but she doesn't. She plays for Ice and Louisville. But um you know Still young side. Gave okay, Jess McDonald a rest, but pretty. Oh, um, 34, I think James. I James is, I think, I forgot where she's from, but she's a new signing as well. Good lineup. Still have Davinia, Sullivan. Overall good. Overall good lineup. Lynn Williams is there. No McDonald's, probably taking a break, but overall still stacked North Carolina side. All right. And we're off, everyone. <clears throat> sure. Good. I think we're good. All right, we're good. Uh, we got four goals last match, so we'll see. And the all the 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 goals came in second half, pretty much. Louisville are in the white, and North Carolina are going to be in the the darker colors, the blue. Hmm. Beethoven. We couldn't, you know, Houston uh, couldn't get anything past Beethoven. I think she had about seven, eight saves last match. Uh, Houston had about like 22 shots, 24 shots. And she had about like seven, eight saves. So it was crazy. She had a good game. Um, but I expect, uh, of course, Carolina to be the better side. In less than one month, again, less than one month to Tokyo Olympics. Good pass from Lynn. Oh. Um.
Vinya has Lynn Williams. I uh, got a like a corner for Carolina. And uh, yeah, Carson Pickett, she's had a great season so far. I don't Ooh, Lynn Williams had her over the bar. Uh. Gonna have to put those away. And the match is streaming on uh, Twitch. No, what's the stream? Yeah, tri Twitch 2. For everybody outside America, pretty much. And then Paramount. Or America. We haven't actually seen New Zealand play. They're talking about New Zealand in the Twitch chat. Um, they're in the Olympics. I'm not, I think the last person I remember that was on the New Zealand team was Allie Riley. I forget which team she plays for. But um, she's playing in the NWSL. I think, she, I think we seen her last night. Or yes. Maybe. I'm not, not too, I don't remember. At the moment, the Pina, Sam Lewis, and no Sullivan. Sullivan used to play for Houston. She was a good player. I forget she's like uh,
goal kick here. Okay, Williams. I was like, who's number 13? Williams. I'm not familiar with her. But she's been getting a lot of screen time. So, I'm, I'm happy I know her last name. Ah, uh, Dominia. This wasn't in sync. Okay, so this is... I think this is James, 34. And I don't... Re I know she's just over from overseas, and I think she was playing FAWSL. I'm not, I'm not familiar with what team she's playing for, but happy for her to be here in NWSL. And it's like pretty much everybody that w that had been talked about or AKA rumored has played now. We have um, Marajan that played, Boadi, Lesomer. James now, Ebony Simon, and then Jim and Bonner. Pretty much everyone's played. And I was saying maybe in the beginning of the season we would see him week three, but it was an extra three more games. So we got to see him week five, week six, which is really good because we'll have four games. Um, we'll have them for the rest of the this season on the short loan or just depending on how long, how long the loan lasts. And it is surprising that got to be careful with those nice moves from U.S. from he's in the box twirling the binia ooh block ah they're getting shots on target good good a lot of a lot of action right there um <laughs> Beto's trying to play out Lynn Williams gets the ball her speed she gets to Mewis Mewis couple um you know good turns finds the Vina's feet Vina shots block and the was the 2021 challenge cup MVP as well the Vina Williams and Lynn Williams has the ball and finds James. I was picking, I think. Oh, okay, given it's a racing right now, can't seem to get their foot on the ball. Hopefully. That's not all match, but right now it's looking like it. And for North Carolina, they're going to have to get, you know, score some goals. They look like they're already in control of this match. They got a lot of Williams out here right now. That's a pop, a popular, a popular, 
a popular last name in the Being here with the shot. Lynn Williams. That clean tackle, Russ said, yeah. Corner kick, corner four for North Carolina. They are dominating this ha this game so far. First twenty minutes, um, racing looking tough right now for them. Let's see, oh Sullivan and Pickett are over there by the corner flag. Far post. Ball still in the box. Cleared, though. I mean, they got to look for Miss Mewis, of course. Uh, she's been scoring. I'm not too sure how many goals she's had. Uh, I know at least one. Dabinia. You know, I'm going to be looking for Dabinia. And now Lynn Williams, the fact that she's going to be home. Uh, I'm going to expect her to be one to punch in some goals. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Nice feed from Dabinia. And I'm just waiting for her to take a shot outside the box as well. But so Sullivan got the ball stripped off her. Now Racing Louis will have it. Um, McCaskill is going to have to be able to, if they can't, if they, if Racing Louis can get the ball to McCaskill when they do get it, you know, her body um, presence should be able to um, hold off the, the defenders and help her team move up the field. I don't think, I don't think Nagasato was starting. Um, a different team from the Houston Dash side, of course. But I guess, like I said, a lot of a lot of the teams are arresting the players, not not North Carolina. High elbow. Um, Sullivan isn't. Uh, I don't know. It kind of looked like she had the elbow. It just looked like um, she's just, Sullivan, just a little shorter than old girl. It's not her fault she's that tall. But, anyways, free kick for North Carolina. 22 minutes in. They North Carolina been, uh, had been had most of the possession. Doing really well, um, as expected. Well, honestly, Louisville are not at the bottom of the table like Kansas, so that's good. So, for their first season, looking pretty good. Ooh, okay. Almost. Almost a goal from a free kick. Side. Uh, wide right. Let's see. Mewis with the shot. You shot it side wide. Uh, See again. It was close. It was it was close. It was really close. Now Balkum has the ball for racing Louisville. She's attacking the back line. Tackled. Carolina. Build again. Racing Louisville, just kick it out of bounds. And I guess, you know, North Carolina's going to have a lot of good future talents. Because, uh, you know, North Carolina, the, co univer the college, um, seems to produce quality players. So uh, they're going to use that pipeline, I expect. And I think Heather O'Reilly is over there, part of the North Carolina coaching staff. So... Shout out to Heather O'Reilly.
and racing seems very calm cool collected when it does come to them getting the ball um they're just not able to they're not in sync right now to be able to make the passes to each other or um carolina just gets to them comes to them breaks off the passes just like that we see Mewis has to has lynn williams nice pass lynn williams hopefully she can finish this Ooh. Nice finish, Lynn. Go! I mean, like I said, it's going to, you know, we want her to score. I know she's happy to score. Um, so, Black Co, hope you're watching. Because <laughs> Lynn Williams is going to put on a hell of a season, I feel, after being, not being given the, uh, uh, a USA jersey for the Olympics. I would be. And that's what she can bring to the USA team. So hopefully uh, she'll have a good season. A nice finish from her with her right foot. Betos couldn't do nothing about it. And honestly, Racing Louisville, they they, they just couldn't. They're not going to stop North Carolina. This this team, North Carolina? Yeah. Um, They're not. Their starting eleven isn't equally uh, potent, I would say. Here comes Davinia. She has Lynn Williams, both Williams. Let's see what she can do. Stripped off the ball. Good pressure from Carolina. Bet. Ooh. Nothing doing there. Offsides was Lynn Williams. We're in the 28th minute here. 1 0. Carolina's goal from Lynn Williams. Assist. Uh, and it was an assist by Samuel. Oh, they say assist by Samuels, which is good. Um, Dabinia. Oh, bad touch, almost. It's, I don't know where it's at, what time you're at. It's like 7 o'clock here now. Tomorrow, well, and then um, so Tech Coster was telling me about um, there's already going to be the round of 16 for the the Euros, and uh, England men have advanced. I think Portugal, who say, but. We're going to see what happens when it comes to <laughs> and to be honest this was not the lineup i expected from this was not the lineup i expected from racing louisville uh, 
with the new the players that I seen last week versus Houston. So, well, not last week, I guess a couple days ago. But I understand players need rest. Uh, here comes Lynn Williams. Does she have anybody? Yeah, Davinia up top. Mm. Oh my goodness. North Carolina just playing with racing right now. Rakitic? Racket, she could have had, had better finish with that. Maybe take it with your left instead of, you know, 30 minutes. Crossing the box. That's going to be a corner for North Carolina. Nice physical battle right there. Williams beats her. Was able to put the ball in the box. Headed out. Corner kick. Once again, um, Pickett and Sullivan are over there by the corner flag for North Carolina. Goal! Again, Miss Lynn Williams. She, she's, she's as expected. I expect, I said it on the last stream. I said it on the last stream. I expected her to do to make a statement. Um, two goals for Lynn Williams with the brace. So it, uh, two, two nil. Good. Betos really couldn't do anything about that. Um, e, yeah, just, just, uh, uh, I think Lynn Williams should be able to get a hat trick, hopefully. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, retract the, uh, you know, she's going to wish that she had, you know, games like these, I guess, for the USA. But, oh well, right? We'll see what happens. We'll see what racing can do. They're going to have to step it up. They're going to step up their game. They're slipping right now. Yep. <clears throat> And yeah, in last match, Sydney LaRue did have a brace. It was two two goals from her. And then a, a, a nice banger from Marta. Uh, Lim Williams goals, 27, 27 minutes and then the 30, 30 minutes. So, you know, six minutes apart. Not too shabby for her.
McCaskill has the ball for racing. She takes a shot. Ooh, she's looking for Bakun, but close. This good movement, good action. Here comes Lynn Williams. Oh, someone fell in the box. Oh. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Everyone's calling for Ebony Sim Salmon to come on. You know, she had the goal. And I, I expected her to be in the lineup as well because she only did come on as a sub. But maybe they're saving her for this weekend. Uh, and Jimmer Bonner, she, I believe, I believe she played all 90 minutes as well. But we got to see how impactful they already made the team. Unfortunately, they got the dub over Houston. With the one goal, but that's football. Shit. All right, Racing Louisville got their, I think this is their first corner. McCaskill's over there by the ball. Uh, 39th minute. Let's see if uh, she can whip it in. Find one of her teammates.
Dabinia finds Lynn Williams. Ball in the box. Back to uh, Dabinia. Again. Oof. Ah. Too much time. Too much time. She could have done better with that. Dabinia very... Dabinia very... Um, how do you say? Uh, unselfish. She had a couple opportunities to take a shot. But she, she see, she's seen an open teammate. So... It could be... Oof. Racing Louisville. Not afraid to play outside. Uh, not afraid to play... Play from the back. Again, Dabinia has Lynn Williams. Lynn Williams shot over the bar. Oh my. I don't know how many shots. They probably had at least 10 shots. Maybe this, I love high six, seven shots. Um, North Carolina. And mainly Dabinia's getting her foot in the ball. Sam Hughes has kind of been chilling besides her assist, but Lynn Williams, of course, been active. Uh,. Oh, she got ran into by Sullivan. Caught her in the face with her like shoulder. But she's up on her feet. Racing Louisville have ooh. It's like every three or four opportunities North Carolina got, Racing Louisville is able to, you know, at least get on their side of the pitch. They just earned their second corner of the match, 45 minutes in. So we'll see once again uh, if, if McCaskill if McCaskill can find one of her teammates or if the teammate can find the ball. Let's see. Nothing. One minute of stoppage time. And we just have to say the first half dominated by North Carolina. Lynn Williams, Brace. Oof. Good effort. Good effort.
We played our uh, one minute stoppage time. And I don't think there was any water breaks. It's been flowing pretty well. Flowing pretty fast. And that's halftime, everyone. 2 0. Uh, Lynn Williams with the brace. Hopefully, she can get her hat trick second half. You know, everybody likes hat tricks, right? Um, dominant performance from Carolina. And Orlando are still undefeated. And. At Lynn Stadium. <laughs> or Lynn Williams. You know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens with uh, Racing Louisville. See if they can come out and make some subs. Or see if their team can... Uh, <laughs> get more... Get more shots on goal. How about that? So... I'm just going to... Switch to my full. It's halftime, y'all. So go relax real quick. I'm going to uh, get me something else to drink, I guess. And I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, we back. Oh. Yeah, Louisville need all the support they can get right now. Louisville need all the support they can get right now. Mm. Let me see how many people are on the Twitch. It says 1.7K 1. 1. are watching um, the other match. I mean, we're, are watching on NWSO2, which is well. <clears throat> just ooh that was from that was from the
last night's match. Rain. And I think, honestly, it was based upon, you know, the teams playing their best players and other teams not playing their best players, resting them for some weird reason. Um, and some of them, some of the players being in the national team gone, so are just not playing in general or a limited time. But it's gonna be twelve home matches, twelve away matches. The top six get the playoffs. First two teams get the first round by. So. Said, I'm excited for, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fantastic that they're continuing to expand. Uh, you know, if they got the funds for it, I'm really, really happy that they're able to add a, a, another a female team. Because, you know, you in America, um, they have tw 10 right now. In England, they have 12. So by next, by 2022, or by 20, yeah, because I'm thinking, yeah, by next year, you know, there's going to be 12 teams, which is really good, which is really good, and it's going to continue to grow as it should, um, oh, we were just, it's so crazy, it's going to continue to grow, it's, it's, it's just time, right, it's time. No, I, I'm, I'm, I was born in Houston, so I guess I would say yes. I'm from, I'm from Houston. Um, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, right now. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm in, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, though. But I graduated in Houston, in Houston, Cy Cypress area. But I'm really happy, and we're gonna really see, you know, with the expansion draft, <laughs> with the expansion draft. We're gonna see how the teams changes. Who 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 um keeps track? Who keeps certain players and what players leave and what players want to go to San Diego or the new teams? Austin should be. I would like Austin to have a, a team. They just had. They just introduced the men's side. Um, I would like them to have a team. Hopefully, they get that soon. And, of course, I want San Antonio to have a team. They have a pretty badass stadium. Um, but in San Antonio, both men and men and women, they don't have a professional uh, team. So I think San, and San Antonio only has one um, sport um, professional team, which is the San Antonio Spurs. Go Spurs. Um, the San, San Francisco, who are they? Um, the... Uh, San, San Antonio Superstars were the women's. Um, basketball team, but now they're the Las Vegas Aces. They've left San Antonio, now they're the Las, a Las Vegas Aces. I wish they stayed because they were actually, they created a great team. Uh, the Las Vegas Aces are a really good team, but just not in San Antonio. They're in, they're in Vegas, so we will see. But I think San Antonio, especially Texas, you know, Texas should have at least a rival. You know, Houston needs a rival. Uh, I think that'd be fantastic. So we're just waiting to see how long that'll take. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to wait and see how long it takes, um, I guess, for investments or, you know, however they go about creating a football team, right? But, um... Yeah, they, you know, mm, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been to Austin. Uh, it's a nice place. Um, it's a nice place. Been to downtown Austin. It's a nice, nice place. Uh, overall. And hopefully, like I said, with the new teams... We'll be still be able to see them, and it won't be so difficult to be able to watch the matches, and everything runs smoothly. Your girl's still gonna be doing what I've been doing, um, and um, 
that's fantastic. You know, there's there's players that want to play football all over the world. I mean, we, me and Esoteric Cloud Surfer were talking about, I mean, eventually, uh, I feel like America could have 50... Uh, um, 50, 50 teams, if it's possible. But we'll see what's what happens. But we just know, we just know by twenty twenty two, we're all, we're gonna see two more NWSL teams, and then we'll see how it grows. You have to get your NWSL has to get at least eighteen to even, for me to. So that's more matches for us. That's more players to discover, more especially for America when it comes to uh you know, looking at new players, we're going to be able to see so many new players that we've never seen before. So many more ladies are going to have opportunities um, to play football professionally. And that's just fantastic if they would like to do that. And uh, it's just time now. It's just time. It's, it's, it's time. And, um, I, I'm not too sure. Oh my goodness, these halftime stats. 13 shots to 1, 5 on target, 30, 38 possessions to 62. Mm, just, just a one-sided first half, y'all. A one-sided first half. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to cover, but you seem very excited for it. Maybe uh, you should cover it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm taking that. I like, uh, I'm going to keep it where I'm at right now. But we'll see what happens. But for now, I've, I've been covering. I like what I cover so far. Um, but we will see. Uh, We're going to wait till the halftime comes back. Mm -mm. But yeah, it, it's growing and it's time. Um in the like uh, that's what Terry Cloud Surfer was saying he was saying um <sighs> the women's game it's become there it's becoming more magical not only is it because the ladies are getting better but we're, there's more eyes on them there's more viewership because it, we're, we're able to watch them a lot more because there's a lot more, like, I guess, outlets. People are streaming the matches and, and stuff like that. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. You said there's, um, um, you said there's now going to be two new women's league, two new women's league, division two professional leagues in USL, W, and W. ISL. Yeah, and just very interesting. If they can create leagues, why not just use one of those teams and make them the professional side? But, you know, I, I, I mean, that would just be my basic simple formula. But um, depending on who's running that system, hey, but that's just fantastic. We'll be able to see... Um, like I said, I don't know how where it streams or where the games be showing. But, uh... Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll have to see. I'll have to, I'll have to see if anything catches my eye. But, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty booked. I'm pretty, uh... Just riding the wave. Riding the wave. Riding the wave and enjoying. And enjoying... And enjoying football, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Come on. Yeah, I'm not too sure where, um, where the leagues will be. I mean, if, if uh, NWSL should promote them, as if I don't know if they're all about that teamwork makes the dream work, but uh, if they are creating two new divisions, USA, I mean USA, NWSL should talk about it. 
should talk about it and make a you know uh make a put a fuck it have them on twitch as well you know what I'm saying see if uh, they could help you know them get deals and see if we can get them on tv or you know because it's still football so this weekend super saturday i don't know why so many matches but houston plays top of the table orlando pride you already know houston gonna give orlando pride their first loss it's it's already i'm already speaking into existence North Carolina versus Portland should be a good good match. Um, unfortunately, it's in collision with my Houston Dash. So, hmm. And so it says Nadia Nadam is going to be coming to Racing Louisville. They surely could use her. Shout out to PSG women. We got to see them finally finally raised the title in France. We watched that match versus Dijon. Very good match. Um, very happy for the PSG ladies. Well deserved. Well deserved. Um, Yeah, Lynn Stadium's pretty badass. I like it um, as well. The first time um, their opening match, uh, the crowd was, it made me feel like I was at home. And I, I bet the ladies feel the same when they play here. Um, new energy and it's overall just, you want it to be a great environment for the ladies and the supporters. Um, Ooh, nice save from Bentos. Damn. So Carolina already uh, on the front foot coming out of the second half. Well, you're going to have to go see them play. You got family there. For sure, they'll let you stay for a couple nights to see a football match. But the second half, oof, <laughs> the second half has kicked off here. 2 0. We're going to be uh, looking to see if Lynn Williams can get her hat trick. And then, you know, by that time, by that time, um, I'm very interested to see who's gonna win this uh I guess golden boot or most bowl sports, I guess what they call it, yeah, golden boot. Cause um some of the players that are gonna be staying here, it's very interesting. But it's really gonna be ooh, okay, hit the post. What I really I'm excited for is the um what type of jerseys the new teams we're going to be having. Uh, you need to know what kind of colors they're going to have. And hopefully they have pretty cool colors. Um, nice colors to look at, right? Nice colors to look at. Yeah, shout out to Jill Ellis. Legend. Okay, let me make sure I go back and make sure I'm Gucci. Got the singing bowls on the background. I was like, um, uh, what's, what's that? 
But I, I don't know if y'all can hear that. But uh, anyways. Got another corner for North Carolina. This game has been going by fast, too, which I'm pretty happy about. Not too many, de not too many delay of games, and it hasn't like, killed the flow of the match, which is really well. Um... Ooh, damn, that was close. North Carolina were looking for that third goal. Sam Mewis uh, was stretched out for it. Dabinia again, pulling the strings, helping create. James to Dabinia. Dabinia looking for Mewis. Very close right there. But like we've seen, 13 shots to one, 65 position to, to whatever other number that is, whatever. But overall, just um, good performance, dominant performance from North Carolina. Um, as expected. Nice. Oh, was the being foul pushed over? Someone says, or oh, Anne Anne Marie says, NWSL or WSL. I watch both, so it's it um uh, it's they all have they both have its perks. You know, they both have its perks. I like that over there in, in, in or over there in Europe, they have other cups they can compete for. Instead of here in America, it's just one trophy. Um, they don't have any other opportunity to win multiple trophies along the way. Um, I think they should add something. I don't know if that's possible. But I think they need, well, yeah, I think they would have to have, you know, of course, more divisions. We're not there yet. I do wish they had a regulation, like a regulation. Yeah, you know, if a team was at the bottom of the table, they got regulated, and then the team got promoted. We're not there yet. It may take 20, 30 years till that happens, or even if that will be established here in America. Uh, but I would like that because, you know, it just shows you you can't, you can't be, you can't suck. <laughs> you can't suck all year. And not have any pun, not have like any repercussion. You, you're gonna get demoted, and then you have to fight to get back into the top, into the top division. And then that just so uh, then we get to see different players play in different divisions, right? But we'll see if that ever happens. Maybe not. But that's what I like about um, FAWSL Women's Super League.
All right, Grace and Louisville got a little counterattack. McCaskill's leading the charge. She has a Balcoon on the right. She gets it to her. Let's see what they can do. Take a shot on goal. Ah, she just slipped. Yeah, I am excited for the the tournament with uh, Houston Dash, Portland, Leon, and uh, Barcelona. Hopefully, uh, we get the best players because it is in August, and you know the Olympics starts in July. So we'll see. I'm expecting Leon. I hope Leon and Barcelona will be a good match. But I don't know with Leon having, you know, some of their key players already over here in America. We will see. But Portland, it's it's just tough because I'm not too sure if the um, the Olympic squad members will be back. But if not, I mean, Barcelona, Spain are not in, in the um, tournament and neither is France. So we'll see what sides um, they bring out. And I know it's not international uh, match, but I think uh, when it comes to the four, Houston are the lowest ranked when it comes between, even though Houston beat Portland 2020 to, get, you know, to win the Challenge Cup champ. But even though it's it still out of the teams, Houston's still on the bottom. So I I'm really excited that Houston were able to, you know, either accept that. Excuse me. <laughs> so we will see who's able to suit up for everyone's 11 and off the bench of course and hopefully it's a good tournament and the tournament that Racing Louisville are hosting or Racing Louisville um, Chicago Byron and his she like I said hopefully uh, we get the best 11 they have available and they Give us some good games, you know. We we will have to wait and see. So we got some subs coming in. Fox, Nakasato.
I'm just excited to see some of the best players play each other, as we all want. Um, as what's it's it's now starting to be almost there's there's so many good teams. Well, good players, with, you know, at least three to four good players that we might know be well known of, well aware of, and uh, especially because you know, speaking of Barcelona, uh, it was brought to my attention that. Barcelona Feminine have asked for a new manager, like a new staff, new staff. So like I said again, um, we're going to see if Barcelona's club board, they do as the women have asked. And if not, and if not, we will see who stay, still stays with Barca, really. Because um, I feel if they don't listen to the ladies, we will see some people leave. Or uh, it's gonna be very interesting, so stay tuned for that. Stay very tuned for that. It's gonna be very interesting. Let's see how that plays out. You say Canada America in the final. Very interesting prediction. Canada have a pretty good side, but we will see. We will see. They come racing with their subs coming in. Let's see if the subs can give them some life. Yeah, Japan looked really good as well. They beat they beat Ukraine eight nil and they they beat someone else five nil as well. So they're looking pretty sharp. And we want everyone to look sharp going into the Olympics because we want to see who uh is the best, right? For now at the Olympics based upon the teams that will be there. And then the Euros that will be in England, which I'm very looking for. I'm excited for that. But we, we got to make, we got to get there. But first, Tokyo. I think the Euros are going to be heavy, heavy watch. And then we're going to get the World Cup right after that. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. And, uh, and I like that uh, England are hosting the Euros. And even the men, the boys are playing at Wembley Stadium right now too. So, you know, a f overall we've just been getting um showered with football, which is great if you if you enjoy football. Like that Sullivan on the ground, oh Sullivan.
and I've been seeing um yeah I, I've, I haven't got to watch any of the the men so far I mean I've watched them a little bit but not as much as I thought I would you know some sometimes your girl just takes breaks from watching football you know um but I seen that the um, NC, I think that's what I seen correctly. NCAA is gonna have to start playing, paying their athletes to play in college. If that was true, I'm really happy about that because uh, you know the the college system is a they pimp out the chil they pimp out the children, they pimp out the college students, and so I'm really happy about that. You know, pay pay the players because uh, you know the education that they're learning is bullshit. Uh, But I don't be knowing all the news because some things I don't really pay attention to and some things I don't need to be paying attention to. But some things I do. We're going to see. Oh, speaking. Uh, do y'all know if, if USA men are in the Olympics? The, um, the football team? I wasn't too sure if they're going to the Olympics. I thought that they were, but they really haven't been talking about them. Everybody's going live. Everybody's going live. All my notifications are going off. Shit. Nakasato has picked up a yellow 66 minutes in. Racy Louisville have infinitely improved from the first half. Uh, making sure that. Uh... Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate for. Well, hopefully, there's always the next four years for the USA men, too. And I think they beat Mexico, and I, for I forgot what tournament that they just played. But, um, you know, if the USA men, if they can't, you know, get to the Olympics, if they can't get to the World Cup, you know, the si the little tournaments are just like, hey, here, here you go. Because they can't make it to the big times. And then, you know, of course, if you're not making it to the big times, you're not playing as much football as the other teams. But, you know, they're going to have to step it up. They're gonna have to step it up. I don't know ever. I don't know if we'll ever see in our lifetime if the USA men win a gold medal or a fucking World Cup. So I may be 30, 30 or forty by that time. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> it's just I think in America, um, football for men in America. There's so many more options. There's so many more sports that the men can choose. And at soccer's like probably the last one on the least on the the on the list. Um, when it come, cause some would rather play football, American football, and uh, basketball or baseball. I think um, and it sh and it shows when it comes to the football when it goes to the football team. But. I stopped from Betos, Lynn Williams. She should have took Oh Girl.
Yes, guys. Yuri, shout out to Flight Boss. Shout out to the whole soul group. Changing the world every single day, infinitely. About 70 minutes here in Lynn, in Lynn Stadium. <laughs> A lot of bodies getting hit. <laughs> okay, Emily Fox, the defender, oh, first overall pick in 2020. Yeah, USA, um, make sure y'all be looking at Emily Fox for the future. Um, maybe eventually, she, um, it looks like she was playing uh, left back. Because, you know, someone's going to have to replace Crystal Dawn. Big shoes to fill. Some people are talking about uh, Houston Dash in the chat. Shout out to the Houston Dash. Hopefully they can get the dub this weekend, like I said. They need it, that's for sure. They had, they, they had so many opportunities last game. They're going to have to capitalize on... Um, <laughs> I don't think um, any of the national team members will be there, honestly. So, infinitely going to have to capitalize on, on that. Need three points. Yuri still alive? Oh no, he ended it. Okay. Lynn Williams looking for that third goal. She got about 18 more minutes left. I want to make sure uh, all is well over here. Still good. <laughs> gotta make sure I there they uh, make sure I let everyone know your girl's still here in the chat. Let's make sure everybody knows Houston Dash are the best. <laughs> Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Shout out to the Houston Dash. <laughs>
but most of these people, I don't even know if they're people. <laughs> it's be I'll be honest. Like, I don't even know half the people. Um, if they be real or not nowadays, they just be people on the internet. Uh, just a heavy touch from her right there. The the young and you know England have such young players that I'm very excited to be tuning into. Um, I can't wait till America gets there where they have like such young talent that are already performing at a, like a high level. Uh, they just need some playing time and and like I said, we already talked about how the college system is. Eventually, I don't. Eventually, I feel they won't be playing in college as much. But especially if, like I said, if the the NWSL, not NWSL, the NCAA or NCAA, if they start, if they have to start playing that, paying the athletes to play football or any sport, any we will see in America. Um, because then they'd be like, well, fuck. If you're gonna play me here, if you're gonna pay me here in college. I could be like, all right, well, let me just go, maybe go somewhere else. I mean, I'm still going to pay, get paid. So we're going to be seeing what which what they do when it comes to young talent. Um, and if they go the young way, the young, and I think they will. You know, Trinity Robin was the, an example. And then, we're, like we said last stream, we're still waiting on Olivia to play. Um, about 14 more minutes. Dom, just been the one, one. One-sided match, one-sided match, um, but a massive improvement from Racing Louisville. Massive improvement. Lynn Williams, after finding out she wasn't on the roster, um, puts in two goals. So... Uh, that was interesting. Got a hydration break. Look. So no, no hat trick for Lynn, but it's all right. They, they, you know, they're they're looking like they're gonna uh get the three points, which was needed. I like that. <laughs> Jasmine said, okay, more fun questions. Who's your favorite shooter on your team? Who's my favorite shooter on the team? Mm -hmm. It has to be. Yeah, I mean, Daly, of course. I'm I, I, I'm a huge supporter of Daly. And, and you is her left foot. It's very clinical for Dash. Um... You know, I like. I want my. I would like. Of course, you want your strikers to score. Um, <laughs> so that was a good question.
Um, the Anamitabo is a good striker as well. She seems to... <clears throat> What, 10 minutes left? But I think, you know, even if, I think it doesn't matter. I think if you are, do you like sports or if football in general, you shouldn't limit yourself from watching all the leagues because that just limits your perspective of one league. And there's talent all over the world. And here's the thing. If it's easier to watch certain leagues, of course, more leagues are going to get more attention. So that's why it, we would like it if all the countries have it where we can watch them play, right? Um, but nowadays, well, well, there's a websites nowadays for you to be able to watch it. But, you know, make it universal, not just in your geographical location. But then again, they're all... It's a lot of corporations and a lot of, oh, this is my, this is my, um, we own this, you know, it's all about their ownership and, oh, we, we can't, sh you can't watch this game because the owner and shit like that and, you know, bullshit, just, just limitations in this realm. Even though I can call someone in Spain, even though I can call someone in England, you know, you, we tell me, yeah, I don't have um, yeah, I don't have it where we can watch football games in England, and I don't have where we can watch football games in Spain. I mean, it's the internet, but easier, make it more, make it more accessible. And so I think that's what they're we're seeing. After football player was brand new to us, we were introduced that she they have uh French, they have the French league, the Spanish league the English league and they think they have the German league and it's only a couple matches because based upon some the big TV corporations I guess they get to choose what matches they want to show on TV so after football player gets certain matches and she, the woman that created it um, she was working in, in England with the, with the sports broadcasting thing but also we talk about like City have City man City have I have a City Plus, right? It's like two bucks. So I'm able to watch the City matches on their website. Um, and I think more teams, they could have that as well. Um, I don't know how they go about that or and have their own commentators and stuff like that. But for City, they'd just be having one commentator, which would be crazy. Which would be crazy to me. I'd be like... It says, um, it looks like Van de Donk, she left for Lyon. Very interesting. We know that Jill, Jill left for Wolfsburg. Very interesting. Very interesting shakeup from the Arsenal side. So, uh... Crystal Press, I I mean I believe so. She didn't have a she didn't have a bad season with United. Um she didn't have a bad season with United. I think United's injuries really fucked them up. Um because they were informed, you know. They were United was informed. Uh 
you know, they were flying high, right? You know, um, Casey Stoney was talking about, it kind of got crazy when Casey Stoney started talking about, if we don't make the Champions League, you know, this season's going to be a bust. And they did, and they just collapsed right at the end, unfortunately. And Arsenal snuck in that third, that third spot after their hot start as well. We didn't know how Arsenal were doing, ended up, you know, ended up Chelsea winning the league again back to back and then and then city and and then arsenal so but um you know i don't think Chelsea's performance in the the way for final was what they had wanted, and I no, I don't think anybody expected um, that match uh, to play out the way it did. Barcelona were just really really what really really good this whole year, um, so we will see what happens next season when it comes to UEFA Women's Champions League. And in the leagues all over the world, right? We had a lot of new champions um, this year, which is fantastic. So, say eighty four minutes. 86 minute, I'm sorry. No one actually made uh no one actually commented on who was their favorite striker on their on their team, which is very interesting. Sometimes I feel people well I know I know their astrology. I don't really know the players, so I think um, hmm. And, and uh, with Casey Stoning leading United, they're going to need a new manager. I don't know if they found someone to replace Casey Stoney. It might be a, another a former Lioness player. We'll see. Um, but they're going to have some Casey uh, let everyone know what she was dissatisfied about. Um. So we will we will see. Uh, and we're getting close to the end of the match. We'll see how much stoppage time we have. I want to thank everyone again for tuning in. You are appreciated as always. Um <clears throat> And it's a uh, happy full moon to everyone. Happy full moon. Um, happy full moon in Capricorn, everyone. And happy summer solstice. Happy 
Summer has officially started. Three minutes of stoppage time. And actually, they uh, they just texted us at our apartment that our pool's open. So that's pretty badass. They did a lot of... Uh, um, well, of course, it was close during COVID. Um, but they did a lot of renovate. Like, you know, they cleaned it. I guess they cleaned it and, and made it very beautiful. Because out here in Texas, it's been hot. Than a motherfucker. Yeah, it's just been hot. It's just been hot. So make sure you're staying hydrated. You're drinking a lot of water. And with uh, someone, the <laughs> lady Charara said, as, as bad as the United Ex Exodus is bad, Exodus is bad, the PSG one is worse. And it is very interesting that, you know, PSG did do very well, Barcelona did do very well, but as you see, players, um, some players and staff are not happy. And United, to think about United and big clubs that we would think would have the funds to be able to support the ladies. Do not give them the funds uh, or it's not there or it's maybe they never had it. I don't know. But it's very interesting. Um, like I said, because of the mentality of how they viewed football in, in first Europe and now over here. Uh, the teams didn't capitalize on the women. They should have had women's teams long, long time ago, but their principles and virtues on the women um, were to limit them. And now we are seeing everything, I guess. But anyways, thank you all again for um, watching on the Discord. You're appreciative. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Lynn Williams Brace gets it done get the three points and um let me say bye to everyone thank you everyone for tuning in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl need a fly high um, I hope y'all have a good, uh, full moon and your girl will be back this weekend. And, uh, thank y'all everyone once again. Deuces.